So you won't get a face camera. Okay. Yes, it did. Don't. <laughs> Hey guys, your boy Lemmy KJ Evan here again. Super excited to have you back in another video. In today's video, we are going through tips to help you, you know, get that first camera. So like I said at the beginning of the video, before the intro and all that stuff, I said do not get your first camera yet. Yeah, I'm not saying you won't get a camera or anything of that nature, but it's there are conditions to eat. There are the conditions. Just cool down. Let me explain. Let me explain. Hear me out. Okay, so in the country in the country we live in, we have a very poor exchange rate. The dollar is very expensive. So that makes the things we buy and the things we buy are in dollars so the things we buy are also relatively expensive so if you're planning to buy a camera of like 100 or 150 it probably won't be the camera you want it probably won't do the stuff you want it to do it won't be as good as you might want it might not be the camera of your dreams <laughs> okay and then and then or it will be a used one that probably isn't in the best of conditions sometimes you might get lucky my a friend of mine got lucky recently he got a pretty nice camera a panasonic something i forgot it was a panasonic something okay i'll probably just write that like somewhere on the screen so that you can see the because i forgot i'll call him later okay so yeah it was a panasonic camera a lumix and he got that camera for about 150 one roughly 150 ish and the camera is decent i've used it to take a few shots so you can get lucky sometimes to get a used camera like that but other times you won't get that lucky i think it's best that because of the kind of conditions we live in it's better to get your side gig or work on yourself and rent cameras for your shoots work on yourself so when you have money you cannot buy like the the kind of cameras that you want that will cost like 250 unless you already have the money if you already have the money then we can now look at the other tips in the video but when you don't have the money you're just starting out okay start with the camera in your pocket like my friend vows would say tip two the must have yeah there are, few, there are three particular things that you need to like every camera must have you cannot do without them okay you can do without them but as a professional photographer it, they, are, they, are, they are important for your work basically basically the first thing is raw shooting yeah raw shooting you know um, raw shooting is very important it gives you all the details it gives you everything so that when you're color grading you don't have so much work to do you just boost in those colors and they look fine um i used to shoot in jpeg when i used to when i used to shoot in jpeg when i was shooting with the camera unless i'm shooting with a phone then i know i don't have an option but when i'm shooting with a camera if i'm shooting a professional picture something that is for a professional shooter it is best to shoot in raw style when you're color grading you're not having issues with the colors you know being tampered with and all that stuff the next thing is manual controls you know your eyes social shutter speed and aperture you need to be able to control you need to have control of those things that is why it's not advised to just buy a power shot camera or a point and shoot camera because those things don't give you um you don't have control over the manual settings you don't have control over it. yeah basically you don't have control over the manual. you can't set your your exposure settings by yourself the camera settings for you just have to do the beating of the camera and that's not that's not a lot of fun so that's another thing you need to look out for the final thing you need to look out for is a flash yeah some cameras come with pop-up flashes while some come with external flashes while some come with both now here's the thing a lot of people don't advise you to use pop-up flash but and i used to be like that too but i've used it on one occasion when i did not have a flash either i didn't have a flash i forgot batteries either of those two things and it wasn't that bad pop-up flash is it i said that people come for me for this i i have the feeling people come but the pop-up flash is actually not that bad you can check on youtube for videos for modifying your pop-up flash to get the best um lighting from your pop-up flash so you have to it's important because you will shoot in dark places you'll be you find yourself in environments that are dark so you need to be able to light with those um at least for your first camera because later on you can start buying other lights maybe if you're using a studio but when you're going out most times you only have to rely on your flash so it is important that it has an external flash so you can buy an external flash and you know slide on it tip three so the third tip is about sensors okay there are two major type of sensors there are a lot of sensors the fourth and all that stuff but there are two major type of sensors for you know modern photography and that's APS-C which is crop sensor and the full frame APS-C cameras are usually on the cheaper end they're usually the beginner end cameras but full frame are the a a7s a7 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 um the r5 the canon 5d mark ii i'm not i don't know a lot of micron cameras i'm sorry i'm more of a canon person 
no vex nikon users anyway so you need to check out for this is it an aps camera is it a full frame camera it will determine a lot it will actually determine what you are going to talk about next which is the last tip to determine the kind of lenses you can use we're going to talk about lenses next but it's the same kind of lenses you can use um full frame cameras aps cameras i mean um the kind of lenses you should use actually because it depends on the kind of images you want to get so those are affected too so you need to check out for those are you looking for an aps-c sensor camera those are like the rebel cameras most of the rebel cameras are aps-c but if you look at the other high-end cameras where you're going into like you're going into like seven hundred dollars one thousand dollar cameras they're actually on the full frame end now the final tip i'll give you is about lenses okay lenses are important i mean did i just say lenses are important lenses are they are paramount give me a better word lenses are give me a better word they are essential lenses, you can't even do without them and they are a major part of the kind of photography you do depend on it depends on the kind of photography you do if you do macro photography you know you need a macro lens if you do um, landscape you know you need a wide angle lens if you do um, wildlife you know you need a zoom lens okay uh, we're going to do a, a video very soon about those kind of things and we'll talk about that then later on later on in that video but then you know you need to know the kind of lens you're using for beginners for starting off um it's usually advised to use a zoom lens because they have the range for everything they have the range so if you it now depends on what you like to shoot you need to know what you like your image to look like so when you shoot with a zoom lens when you shoot with the when you should do a zoom lens if you take it all the way back if you like what it looks like or you like all those up close shots you like to be up close you might have to go for a macro lens and all that stuff if you want to have your whole um the whole landscape you want to have a lot in view then you know you need the wide angle lens so it just depends on all that lenses get lenses get expensive like they can be actually expensive you can see lenses ranging from hundred dollars to i recently saw a lens of thirty four thousand dollars i am not joking Thirty-four thousand. Most times, it's advised to start with the zoom lens. The lens that most, the kit lens that most cameras come with, will be an eighteen to fifty-five. You might also get um, maybe thirty-five to one hundred five. It just depends. But most times, it would be a zoom lens. Well, guys, that's the end of today's video. This was so much fun. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. If you like, please smash a like on the video, and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notified every time a new video drops. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video once again. Before I leave, if you'd like to see a video on budget cameras for Nigerian beginner Nigerian photographers, please say so in the comment section below and I will do that video for you. I already had it planned, but I was like, do people really want that? Okay, so if you want to see that video, please say so in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, also share my videos so that other people can get all this information that you're getting. Thank you so much for watching. That's like the fifth time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.